Okay, so this move is, uh, it's actually a move that we already have as a lesson on the website and we're going to give you some more advanced concepts or thoughts about it. Um, it's the yo-yo and uh, we're going to use it in a pass or at the end of a, a six count pass. Okay. So we have rock, step, triple step, rock, step, triple step. So it feels just like it's going to be a six count pass for Evita. That's right. But I'm going to interrupt that second triple step to make it a rock step in a yo-yo sensation. Rock, step, triple step, rock, step, triple step. Now the interruption that he's talking about I find really cool because in a normal six count pass, right about this moment, triple step, I'm going to pivot and I want to do another triple step with my left foot. So normally I would continue on my way, but it's this advanced lead where Michael accelerates the rotation here and actually brings me back or he makes that feel like a rock step. What I'm thinking about leaders is the line of that second triple step. So in a normal six count, triple step, triple step. You see how long she has to travel? There's length within this hand connection so she can get that full step. The interruption that I'm thinking about is on the tri moment. Tri. Rock step, tri. triple step, tri. Oh, triple step. Which would be the four, I think. No, the five. Five. Let's show here. One, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yeah? Now, something I want to point out that's, that's important to, to us. That moment of count five, Michael is not pulling away from me as much as he is gauging the length of his arm. Yeah, one of the, one of the common things that we see uh, in students is uh, leaders, right here, you solve the problem by taking a big old rock step away from your partner as a way to create stretch. It does work. And in fact, if there was somebody over here on the social dance floor that, that your partner was going to hit, that's a great way of dealing with the space and protecting your partner and keeping it that way. However, we like to think of it as, as an offering up of space. Michael is holding my hand and, and lengthening or shortening his arm depending on what's available. So you'll see that right here you'll see uh, oh, you see how the the hand connection actually goes towards Evita rock step which is different than rock step and and I guess if you really overanalyze it which you probably are because you're advanced dancers watching this you'll see that there's a, a stretch happening from both of us what we're interested in as advanced dancers is what is your intention leaders is your intention thinking about your partner's movement, or is it only thinking about what you're doing? I often find in this, because I, I agree with you. Thanks. You're welcome. Now it's recorded for, no, for posterity. Oh, I got it. But, um, uh, but I think, for me, the problem with leaders backing away from their partners in, in this shape is that when you do that, leaders, this connection is often loose or slack. So, Rock, right here, it's as I bring the hand down, if I do this, she's still going that way and from the slack to a top moment is going to feel jarring. Oh, gotcha. And that's what I think. You mean, can... you mean if in this moment there's nothing going on and all of a sudden you pull, Bam. that doesn't feel good. Exactly. But... But if right here as she passes... If there's energy... I'm sending oh. her to that stretch, I can actually regulate that moment more better, us that it more, more better, better. <laughs> for her versus uh, versus surprising her in this. And advanced dancers, again, there is a lesson that we have in our fundamentals course about the quality of our steps. And every time you take a rock step, rather than the step being about a downward fall, our rock steps, or we think about our steps being like a like a like a U shape rise. Brief. And that gives us buoyancy in these complex redirections, which is what you see here. Michael serves up this energy, and that light moment of return feels really easy versus if you fell away from me and we both had this quality of, you get this sort of like, oh, yeah. yeah. So 
Stylistically, aesthetically, you can choose what you prefer, but of course we're explaining how we lead this, follow this, and... Uh, Make it feel nice. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Make I, it feel nice. Well, I know that's an oversimplification, but again, we're, we're, what we're talking to you about advanced dancers is all of the things that we've seen over the years in teaching this. Yeah. When we see students trying to figure it out, these are some of the pitfalls that they end up in, and so hopefully we can help you bypass some of those pitfalls by thinking about it in this way. Mo' better.